Hey guys, so this is the Earth Science Syllabus, and I just want to briefly go through it with you. I'm not going to read the whole thing word for word. Um, the most important thing on this syllabus that you need to know about is um, the contact information. So you can get a hold of us via our emails, which are here. Uh, you probably won't need to be calling us at all, but if your parents need to leave us a voicemail, there are our numbers. Um, they can also email us at any time. We're pretty good at getting back to them right away. Um, so let's take a look at our instructional philosophy. Basically, this tells you that um, homework, classwork, activities, and labs are designed as practice. It's through doing these activities that myself and Mr. Mosel know whether you understand the material and we know whether you're ready to move on to a test or if we need no more practice. So we ask you to please try your hardest so we know truthfully whether you understand the material or not. Then, tests are derived from the exact material taught and are designed to evaluate exactly what you have or have not learned. So tests will tell us how much you really understand. Um, so therefore, grades will reflect the degree of understanding based on the grades you got on your homework and your tests, which is why it's important that you simply don't just get zeros on assignments for not turning in because it doesn't help us know if you understood anything. This course is team taught by two teachers um, so that our teacher pupil ratio is lower so you can receive much more individualized attention and as much assistance as possible. In addition, this class is a digital learning environment, so you guys have unlimited resources. The world is at your fingertips, um, and you will also be able to present that you comprehend material to us using the most 21st century methods, so you have the iPads um, here in class for demonstrating your understanding. Towards the bottom of the page, the course description. I'm not going to go over that because we're going to see it on the next page, but just briefly, it does state that um, this is for grades 11 to 12. There are going to be some sophomores in this class this year, so we welcome you sophomores and hope that you guys enjoy the ride. Um, so last thing on here, course objectives, basically says um, this course is going to be all about problem solving. We will look at how the earth was formed. We will look at the problem of um, how early Earth was and are we still um, experiencing the same dynamics in our modern world and what factors are at play that shapes Earth today. And that's the overall picture of this course. For the second page here, um, we tell you that we use the Next Generation Science Standards and Common Core Standards in our course. This will be a new um, course, so if you know someone who was in it last year, um, you can't take everything they say word for word because it will be a lot different. We are redesigning our courses to be problem solving based. With that, we will have the same units as in past years. Unit one, our whole first quarter is on astronomy, so the study of outer space and how the planets formed. Unit two is on the materials that Earth is made of, and unit three is on how those uh, materials are sculpted daily by water and wind and other forces. For semester two, we start with forces within Earth. Those are your earthquakes, volcanoes, and mountain building. We'll study how they relate and how they differ. Uh, unit five, we'll talk about historical geology. So that studies the changes that Earth um, has undergone in its existence and how those, uh, those changes are still happening today. We will flip-flap our oceanography and meteorology units. Oceanography will come first. So... Um, we will then study the resources of the ocean floor, the dynamics of what happens with the ocean and how it affects um, everything that happens on land. And then lastly, we will do meteorology. During this unit, you guys will basically become junior weathermen. Uh, you will create an entire weather forecast and post that on YouTube. Um, and it's super fun. It's everybody's favorite project of the year. So that is something to look forward to the very last week that the seniors are in school. At the bottom here, um, it just gives you some examples of uh, activities that we do throughout the year. To start off, the astronomy textbook is your first assignment. 
not using an astronomy textbook, but creating one. So you guys basically will be creating your own textbook about astronomy. You'll be creating that within a document preparer, such as Pages or Word or Google Docs, and you will be binding that together and publishing that. Um, the next project is the alternative energy, energy analysis. You will be looking at our dependency on coal, oil, natural gas. You will look at alternative energy sources such as solar power, wind power, um, biofuels, biomass, um, all uh, water power, all of these alternative ways to um, use energy and then to determine um, whether they are cost effective and what infrastructure would be developed, uh, need to be developed in order to rely on that as a society. Down here, um, earthquake epicenter lab. We will be studying earthquakes. We will actually go through and look at real seismic data from an actual earthquake that happened in Alaska. We will um, analyze every detail of the earthquake to determine how far the earthquake occurred from the source. Um, that felt the shaking and then we will do a lot more with earthquakes as well on that lastly I told you about it already everybody's favorite the weather forecast project and that happens at the end of the year within our meteorology unit some types of evaluation you can expect in our class are portfolios digital reports Socratic discussion lab investigation reports and video reports we have made it to the end so let's talk about the evaluation structure your grades will be based on weights, meaning that each group of assignments calculates to a different percentage of the final grade throughout the semester. So your quizzes and tests will make up nearly half, 45% um, of your grade. Uh, labs and activities, which are a major component of this course, will make up 35% of your grade. Homework and participation make up 20%. Um, simply because if you're not doing homework and you're getting zeros, and that could cause you to fail, and that's pretty dumb. So we want you to do your homework. We want you to participate. Um, but those can't weigh as much as your tests and labs do in your grade because it wouldn't provide a true picture of um, your success in the class. The grading scale is the same as every other course in the district. 90 to 100 is an A, etc. And there will be an infographic on that posted in the classroom so you can see what an A really means. What does a C really mean? Do you know? That will be posted in our room. As for your materials, um, you would need a notebook just in case there's things you need to write down because even in the most technology-based class, you sometimes have to write things down, um, especially when you're brainstorming or um, plotting out um, a presentation, a video. You're going to want to have a place to write down your thoughts. So you also need something to write with. And then finally, um, if you don't have headphones, I would suggest you buy a pair. You can get at Walgreens really cheap right by the checkout counter. Um, so you really need a pair of headphones for our class. So that way you can listen to our videos um, and do our activities on the tablet without um, hearing the guy next to you listen to it and get really confused and be very lost. So that is the syllabus. It says parent garden signature, student signature. There's nothing to sign. So don't worry about that at all. Thanks, guys, and you are done with this.